G'day guys, welcome back. I just want today I just wanted to show you a um, Wi-Fi repeater that I just bought. Um, I found out about this repeater on one of the Tello uh, Facebook pages. I think it was Tello FPV actually, Facebook page. Because as you know, I've been testing the Tello FPV app for quite some time now. Um, and one of the uh, members there was Australian and he mentioned that he just bought one of these off eBay. I have been looking at different um, Wi-Fi repeaters online. Uh, there's one similar to this, but I didn't actually come across this particular one. So uh, I thought I'll give it a go. As you can see, I bought this one for only $18. And uh, it, I think it came from over east, so it was rather quick shipping. Um, so here it is. It's a pretty much like a no-name brand one. Uh, just the title is 300 megabytes per second Wi-Fi range extender. And it just shows you a few pictures of it. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to try this one out to see if it's any better. Because, as you can see, it's got dual antennas uh, compared to the uh, Xiaomi uh, Mi repeater that I've been using. Which, you know, is sometimes difficult to set up. Uh, I know of quite a few people have had problems with it. It sort of works when it wants to. But once you do set it up, um, after I had great difficulty in setting it up the first time, just the app wouldn't cooperate and so forth. Um, I finally got it figured out and it did, does work great with the Tello, but I wanted something else to try and this is one of them. Uh, so yeah, this one's very easy to set up. You don't need any apps like the uh, the Xiaomi needs a Mi Home app, which is where the problems to set it up sort of lie. Uh, you know, the app actually can it will pick up the device and then it won't and then it will you know so this one's a pretty much a no fuss one that's why I, I really wanted to try it out so i'll just show you uh what we get or basically you just get the the repeater itself and a little quick start guide basically tells you what you got to do and this is how simple it is so it's got uh you just connect it to a power bank for starters and then you go into your Wi-Fi settings and uh, connect to the Wi-Fi Plus, which will come up in your in your Wi-Fi settings. And then you just type in USB Wi-Fi in your search browser. So what what that means? You don't actually go on the actual internet itself because that will not work. Um, which I'll show you in a minute how to set it up. The actual um, once you type in USB Wi-Fi dot CN, which is I guess for China. Um, the actual repeater itself has a hotspot for that web page. So you're actually connecting to that, not your actual internet at home. And just goes on to tell you how to set it up. That's all to the device that you are going to set it up to. It also has a reset button on the side here. So you're going to need like a, a little pin or needle to um, reset that every time you want to change it to a different quadcopter for example that has wi-fi uh fpv uh pretty much the same as the xiaomi product you have to do that as well you have to reset it every time because that's it's going to just record the last uh wi-fi that you have um set up the wi-fi repeater for so, um, as I said, it's pretty much a no-name brand, but I think this is, uh, it's listed as a no-name brand, but I think this is the actual brand, XC Source. That's pretty much the packaging it comes in, guys. There's nothing really on the back either. So, um, all right, I'll go through the quick setup, and um, I'll be setting it up to this little Iello. I haven't flown this for quite some time, actually, since I reviewed it. This is a little Amazon uh, quadcopter that I reviewed last year. It's a Tello clone. So I'll be testing this out in the field with uh, this Wi-Fi repeater, but I'll quickly show you how to set it up. Okay, first off, just connect it to your little power bank here. I've just got this little yellow one that runs off uh, 18650 batteries. And uh, connect it up and you've got a blue flashing light there, okay? And then go into your phone, into your Wi-Fi settings, and then click on the Wi-Fi Plus. Scanning and it's connected. 
Okay, no internet. Okay, once you've done that, connected to the Wi-Fi, I've got the little ILO powered up. It's just in standby mode here, so it's it's got the Wi-Fi signal coming out of it. Just type USB Wi-Fi, go into your browser, Google Chrome or whatever on your phone. Type in USB Wi-Fi dot CN. Don't worry about the repeater bit. That will come when you load it. Just type in where it's in dark black there. Just that. And then you'll come to this like a web page, which is linked not to your internet, but to your Wi-Fi repeater. That is what is sending this little uh, web page here, which is pretty cool. And as you can see, it's got the surrounding um, Wi-Fi connectivity. Uh, you, if the drone doesn't come up straight away, you can just rescan it. So it tells you here, rescanning. And this is what happens. It will just scan around for a while. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's very, very simple to set up. There, so there you go. I've got the, like, the neighbors, you know, next to me and stuff like that. But connect to the FLDSS. That is the ILO. Press OK. The extender will restart. Connect to the Tello, or ILO rather. And it's extending that Wi Fi signal from this quadcopter. As you can see, it's going up in the percentages, and uh, pretty soon it will be connected to the ILO. Okay, so it's now done the 100% uh, connection to the ILO and it just tells you please observe the LED indicator. So it tells you blinking blue, the extender is connected to the router uh, in a good location. Please connect to the network. Solid red, the extender is connected to the router but is too far away from the router. So relocate the actual repeater itself closer to the ILO but as you can see it's blinking blue and blinking red means the extender is not connected to the router so this is pretty good because if it's solid red it means you're still connected but the the Wi-Fi signal ain't that great so you can just move it around till it goes uh, the blinking blue again so all I've got to do now the ILO is still on is Go into my Wi-Fi once again. So as you can see, I am still connected to the original FLDSS, uh, which is the ILO uh, Wi-Fi, just normal, like I've got no repeater connected. But now underneath it, I've got the FLDSS Plus. So we want to choose that one. And uh, there you go. So it's connected to the the plus version which is the extender so that's pretty much it guys i mean it's very easy as you can see to set this one up um, over the xiaomi product i think anyway uh, i know a lot of people have had problems with the um xiaomi product including myself and even a couple of my friends so uh i'm going to test this one out with this quadcopter and a few of my other ones and we'll see how it performs in some testing all right guys so just thought I'll show you this new repeater that I bought, just in case uh, some of you guys are interested. It's a pretty good uh, setup, very, very easy. So um, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. So I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.